Hello, my little sushi rolls. You may recall a while back on the Blissful Death column on Rice Digital, uh, we covered a game called Raging Blasters, uh, which was by Terrarian Games. Um, this is the follow up to it. It's, it's not a direct sequel or anything, uh, but it's called Moon Dancer. I've been waiting for this to come out for quite a while now, um, and it's, it's just come out. It came out on January the 14th, I believe. Um, so I've been looking forward to giving this a go because Raging Blasters is a really fun, really accessible shoot 'em up. Um, and this looks to be an interesting twist that makes particular use of uh, sort of lock-on shooting. So I'm looking forward to giving this a go. There's the demo mode running there. Let's start game. Uh, let's do a tutorial first so it uh, explains how we do everything. Move with the left stick or D-pad. We'll go with the we'll go with the stick for now. There are two types of attack: shots and lock-on lasers. You can attack with all these buttons, so every button. So shots are fired while the button is pressed. So I'm using the left trigger here. That's nice and comfortable to use while using the the stick. Lock on by aiming the cursor over the enemy. Press or release the button after lock on to fire the laser. There we go. So sort of res style. The limited number of lock-ons you can do. Multiple buttons are available so you can shoot the laser while shooting a shot. And in that way we can get some nice combos going. If you hit the laser continuously a chain will be generated and you can get a chain bonus. Cool. Lock on laser type can be changed by getting an item. Napalm laser has high attack power. Multi laser can lock on a wide range. Oh, I see. So that locks onto anything that's in that circle. A spear laser can attack quickly. And that's the one you start with from the look of things. When you get a P item, the shot will lever up. You get a crystal will be added to the score when you clear the stage. So that's just like in Raging Blasters. But again, if it's anything like Raging Blasters, you will also drop all of those. Um, you'll drop all of those crystals if you lose the life. So there's no damage even if you touch the enemy body. If you touch an enemy bullet, you'll lose a life. That's all. Good luck. All right, sounds good to me. Let's have a go on arcade. We've got normal, hard, or expert mode. I think I think we'll stick with normal to begin with, shall we? Warning! An attack by a runaway defense system was detected. Your mission is to destroy the core system. Good luck. Stage one, beginning of the battle. So we couldn't lock onto that debris. We could only um, shoot it with shots. So it's worth having your shot going most of the time anyway from the look of things. Loop bomb, loser. Multi-laser. I like the sort of locking on in the ring system of this one. I might try and hold on to this one for a little while. Shot power up, yes please. Ooh. Bonus points! You can see secret bonuses being hidden through the lock on system. Oh, it's checkpoints. 
It's checkpoints, not just pick up where you left off. Okay. I mean, I don't mind, but that's, that's actually quite unusual to see these days. Oops. I like that we got lots of information down the side of the screen. That's very, very M2. Which is no bad thing at all. As you'll know if you've had a look at things like the Aleste collection and such like. No bomb loser. Alright, let's try not to die this time. <laughs> That's not not dying, is it? That is dying. Game over? Game over. I'm not continuing because I'm not a wuss. Start again. Right, let's do this. There's apparently a chiptune version of the soundtrack as well. We'll have to uh, give that a try. Next time we cark it. I like this kind of lock-on shooter. It's a it's a very distinct feel to uh, other types of shooter map. There's a good one from Triangle Service, um, which I can't can't remember if we covered on the uh, blissful death column as yet. Uh, but it's called Minus Zero. That's one of my favourites. It's very abstract and very trippy and very very res-inspired, obviously. Um, but that's definitely a good one. Give me points. Alright, into Superstar Soldier Land. Blast them all. What the? Every time. Literally every time that's happened. Well, not literally every time because I got a bit further than that. But, you know. It happened more than once, is what I mean. I like that losing all your power ups doesn't mean you're completely defenseless. That's nice. Right, let's not mess this up this time. Okay, so green bullets can be destroyed. Good. Pink bullets are probably the most dangerous. Nice. That's more like it. Even got some crystal bonuses and an extra life. Lovely stuff. What's next? Stage two, moon base. This is very much living up to raging. Oops! Very much living up to Raging Blasters legacy at this point. It's tougher than Raging Blasters. Because Raging Blasters is very much a good entry level shoot 'em up. Um just the additional layers and mechanics on this, I think, make this a little bit more complex. It's not absurdly difficult by any means, though. You just need to sort of learn to understand the different mechanics and what is dangerous and what isn't and all that sort of thing. Uh, 
And the, the checkpoint system is going to make it a significant challenge to get through, I feel. I don't expect an easy one credit clear with this one. God. Oh god. Yeah, this is tricky. <laughs> tricky, tricky, tricky. Right. Go from the start again. Good start from the beginning each time. You just get some good practice on those initial stages. Beginning of the battle. Multi laser. It's good. I feel I feel less inclined to stick with one type of weapon than I did in Raging Blasters. But I mean that that may vary from person to person depending on your own personal playstyle anyway. But I did find in Radio Blasters there was definitely one weapon I like more than all the others. Whereas in this one they've each got their pros and cons. Didn't fall for it this time. Nicely done. I will take the napalm laser. Alright, careful of the pink shots. Shoot down the green shots. Watch out for the speedy orange shots. Try and get that chain going. As if you keep firing the laser off pretty quickly, you can get that chain up to some quite high levels from the look of things. Nice. Alright, happy with that performance. On to the next. Okay, making much better progress this time around. But like I'm taking out a lot more things with my shots and my laser though, so probably I don't know though. Let's try the multi laser for a bit. Ooh unfortunate. Very unfortunate. I must have literally just reached a checkpoint. <laughs> what have we got this time to worry about? We got green bullets and orange lasers at once. Ow! Okay. Lots, lots to watch out for is is the answer to my question. I move right into that. Okay, I see how this works. He locks on to you with the big cannon. So you move out of the way of the big cannon so it doesn't shoot you. 
That shouldn't be too difficult, should it? In the meantime, we get a nice big combo. Oh god, there are lots of things to pay attention to in this fight. Ooh, that was a little zesty for my liking. There we go. Whew. Exhausting. Onwards. Say tree. Mars. Oops. <laughs> oh dear. Tricky old game, this. Good though, I'm liking it very much indeed. Oh no. Oh, I was just short of another extra life there. Just short of it. All right, let's have one more go. One more go. I appreciate that it keeps the absolutely absurd speed from Raging Blasters. That was one of the best things about it. It was like... I'm going to speed the background's going. It was like Superstar Soldier at warp speed. Fantastic stuff. Yeah, I'm going to skip the multi-laser for now. Stick with the napalm. I do like the spear laser the least, I think. But that might just be because it's the default weapon. Nope. Don't fall for it. Let them shoot first and then attack them. All right, we got that first level nailed. I've just noticed that on all the buses, it actually highlights the parts that are firing. That's a really nice touch. You can use that as a nice telegraph to prepare yourself for whatever attacks are coming next. Very nice. One up. So plow through this one now. Don't do anything stupid. Ideally, anyway, you know. Concentrate on survival. High scores can come later. That's the thing with games like this, it's so easy to get hung up on high scores right from the beginning. 
You forget, your main objective is just to survive the damn thing. <laughs> I'll stick with a napalm for now. Ooh, God. That was nearly nasty. Alright, I'm ready for you this time. I know your game. Alright, bake the shots. And that makes hitting it a whole lot easier. Oh no! Oh no! Why me? <clears throat> anyway. Oh, have I got to use the shitty laser now? Oh, no. No, no it's shot power. Alright, lock on. So close. There we go. Easy peasy. Another extra life. And well on the way to another one. <sighs> right. Getting high scores on this is clearly going to be about learning what all those bonuses are as well. Do we need this? Maybe. There's another one up. And a new high score! Oops! Well, the multi-laser is a nice defensive weapon, but I'm not sure I love it, because you do have to put yourself right in danger to use it. Yeah, let's leave that for now. Oh no! Hmm. Unfriendly. You know what, maybe I will use it. I feel like it might be useful for these things. Do not do not like things that turn invisible and shoot bullets at you. No, oh, that's very rude. Very rude. So in this instance you can sort of use the proximity laser almost like a 
almost like a targeting scanner, I guess. To help, Ooh to help highlight where the things are. I think I want something with more range now. There we go. Thank you very much. Oh, this is exhausting. <laughs> Last time. Uh oh. Oh, Jesus. Oh my god. Well, you're not messing around, are you? Oh, made it. First time. Pro gamer. At least we're another one up. There we are. Another one up. All right, bring it. Stage four. Stick with a napalm for now. Obligatory asteroid sequence. Got right into the groove of this now. It's tricky to keep a big chain going. I guess that's something you'll just sort of develop a feel for as you play the game more. Oh, God. There are a few things that put me on edge more in shoot 'em ups than big whirly bullet patterns like that. Like, it's not even a super difficult pattern to dodge, but I, I just feel immediate, immediate paralyzing anxiety the moment that a bullet pattern like that happens. Just gotta look for the safe spot, that's all you need to do. Oh, the, the telegraphs in this game are so helpful. Really helpful in learning the boss patterns and avoiding them. Nice, another one up. We're flying now. Onward, if you please. Stage five. Earth! Wasn't a great start, was it? It's alright. Good job we got a lot of lives. Oh, I lost all my shot power. Not that it takes very long to power yourself up in this. And as I say, not that losing all your power ups in this is a huge inconvenience anyway.
So the chains, I almost feel like shooting things one at a time is more effective in building up the chains because each, each, each one resets the timer. Oh, uh, what's happening? Helicopters! Uh, shooting missiles at me. Even if they are the green missiles I can shoot down. Uh oh. These look dangerous. And you can't shoot them. Good! Good! That's what I wanted. Nothing to worry about here. Nothing at all. Nothing at all to worry about here. Whoops. Ooh, careful. <laughs> Oh no! Oh no! That is a that is a wipe at one percent. Is that what that is? Ah, uh, how frustrating! Give me that. Okay, so we know we need to watch out for what those blue lasers do, because they don't just fire straight down, do they? No, 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 they also go horizontally. Because they're mean and horrible. Well, I, I seem to have mastered the chain thing. <laughs> fire quickly, fire often. Die! Ooh. Nice. Where to next? Also, how many stages are there? Sun! This is gonna be a finale, right? Oh no! Solar flares are dangerous, don't you know? Well, let's just stay down here then, because because that's safer than up there. Oh, but this but this treasure, they want treasure. Good. Alright, warpy warpy time. But there's still solar flares going on. Now there's solar flares on the other side. I'm scared. Help! Help! And there's treasure. I want treasure. I need the treasure. Oh no! My own greed strikes again! Right, I got it this time. Nope. Treasure. Wait for it. No. Nope. No. <laughs> oh, I need four lives left. Right, forget the treasure. Sacrilege, I know, but forget the treasure. I just want to survive. Uh, 
Alright, are we free of solar flares yet? Hopefully. No, we're not. Oh god. They're coming from both sides, this is not on. I'm not sure I meant to pick that up. But, well, I guess we just have to deal with it now. Please tell me you don't have to fight a boss with solar flares. We do! So that's nice. We need some shock power. Ah. Oh no! Oh, this is difficult. Right. Now, you can actually shoot the solar flares. Which is something, I guess. You can also get shot in the face by a giant space laser. Right, pay attention. Concentrate. Watch for telegraphs. That's a telegraph. Telegraph for giant space laser. It even makes an audible cue, so there's no excuse for getting hit by it. Oh, no problem, laser. I wouldn't mind that right now. One up. Nice. Stage clear. Not quite the next extend, but we still got three lives. Still got three lives. Base station. That's a lot of bullets. Oh, but it cancels the bullets and you kill him. And they turn into gems. I hadn't noticed that before, but now I have. And it is a thing of beauty. There's another one up. Yes, to the please. Ooh, bullets. Or lasers, even. You were alarmingly tough. Yep. Clear a path. Cut the ones that matter and run. As a man once said. No. <laughs> Get out of here with your invisible bullshit. You think you're in an Atari 2600 game or something? We haven't had invisible invaders since 19... whatever it was. Space Invaders for Atari 2600 is one of the best versions, incidentally. And invisible invaders is a big part of that. <laughs> Power up. Hello. Oh. Ooh. Good lord. Good lord. 
Alright, I got this. It's fine. Nothing to worry about. Just don't be anywhere near any of the three lasers. Or the missiles. Hmm. I think our adventure might be coming to a close very soon. <laughs> Ah, I was hoping we'd make it all the way through. Well, we still might. I've developed a strategy. Go inside for the wide shots and outside for the narrow shots. And just take it easy. Oh no! Is that it? It's all over, isn't it? Oh no. That's upsetting. Oh well, anyway. If you want to see the end of the game, you can buy it yourself and finish it yourself. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's good fun. I like that a lot. Uh, I was expecting great things, and uh, Terrarian Games has very much delivered. So, good stuff. I'll be playing a lot more of that. Um, and by the time you see this video, there will probably also be a write-up about it over on Rice Digital as well. So enjoy that when it shows up. And it just remains for me to say, as always, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you again next time.